Some local legends claim they are created by the footsteps of the gods, while there are others who believe they are marks left by visiting UFOs. But now the mysterious fairy circles that pockmark the grassy Namib desert in Namibia have sprung up in another part of the world thousands of miles away. Scientists have discovered the circular, barren patches of land in a remote uninhabited part of the Australian outback. Hundreds of the circles, which are around 13 feet, 4 meters, across but can be up to 22 feet, 7 meters, are spread across the barren landscape. But researchers claim the discovery in Western Australia's Pilabara region may have helped them unravel what is causing the weird phenomena. Scientists have been baffled by what causes the fairy circles in Namibia, which are found in hot spots along a 1,242-mile stretch of desert between Angola and South Africa. Some theories have suggested termites may nibble away the roots of grasses causing them to die while others propose a buildup of toxic gases may be causing the vegetation to die off. Recent research has also suggested they could be caused by competition among the plants themselves for precious water. Local legends suggest they may be the footsteps of gods, burn marks left by dragons, or the sleeping spots of Namibia's national animal the oryx. There are also suggestions they could be landing spots of UFOs. Dr. Stefan Getzen an ecologist at the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig in Germany and an expert on fairy circles, described the discovery of the features in Australia as exciting. Writing in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, he and his colleagues said, vegetation gap patterns in arid grasslands, such as the fairy circles of Namibia, are one of nature's greatest mysteries and subject to a lively debate on their origin. They are characterized by small-scale hexagonal ordering of circular bare soil gaps that persist uniformly in the landscape scale to form a homogeneous distribution. We report here the exciting discovery of fairy circle patterns in the remote outback of Australia. They say the discovery of the patterns more than 6,200 miles 10, kilometers, apart has helped them discount some of the theories for how fairy circles form. The new circles were spotted by an aircraft passing overhead about 9 miles 15 kilometers, to the east of Newman in Pilabara, Western Australia. Dr. Getson and his team analyzed the temperature, took water samples and charted signs of animal activity around the fairy circles in Australia. They said they could find no evidence of ants or termite nests in the circles. Dr. Getson said this suggests the barren patches are not formed by animal activity but instead by the way the plants organize themselves. We found in the majority of cases no nests in the circles and unlike in Namibia, cryptics and termites do not exist in Australia, he explained. And the ones we did find have a completely different distribution pattern to the fairy circles. Instead Dr. Getson claims the barren patches may be formed by the way plants organize themselves. Grasses of the Tridia genus are usually found growing around fairy circles and are often associated with strange patterns like stripes, labyrinths and spots during droughts. Stripe and labyrinth patterns tend to form on hard soil layers with overland water flow. They are commonly observed with trees as they line up along mountain slopes too. Dr. Getson and his colleagues said the fairy circles in Australia seem to form because of a similar the interaction between the soil and the plants. The loamy soil in Australia is back to a hard crust if it is not protected by vegetation, meaning water struggles to penetrate into the ground. Instead, it flows away over the surface, leaving patches where plants struggle to germinate. However, Dr. Getson said it seems likely that wild plant self-organization may also be causing the fairy circles in Namibia, different processes may be responsible. Their reservoirs of water form under the barren areas but diffusion means they supply moisture to the surrounding grasses. Plants jostling for water and nutrients create bare batches as stronger plants around the edge suck up the moisture and food in the middle. He said, in Namibia, the sandy soils of the fairy circles are much more permeable and precipitation can drain away with ease. The details of this mechanism are different to that in Australia but it produces the same vegetation pattern because both systems of gaps are triggered by the same instability.